so I apologize for that. Um, I don't have the best webcam in the world, so, um, but yeah, so I'm a little dark. You can see Baby Yoda, a little baby Grogu in the background, so he's more interesting to look at anyway. But um, we're going to continue with our Brindleton Conservancy. Um, for those who have not seen the prior videos, this is based on the Howard County Conservancy um, in Central Maryland. And it's a 232-acre uh, nature conservancy um, that's built on like the site of like an old farmhouse, and I guess an old farm in general. So, um, so as for the sake of this build, we are recreating. We've recreated the old barn, and um, I added uh, some items to make it kind of like a little wedding venue. Um, earlier this morning, we worked on the first level of the farmhouse. So I figured today we would, I figured right now we would work on the second level and then maybe if we get some time, maybe start working on the actual, you know, conservancy, you know, visitor center event venue itself. So, but here's the way the buildings look. Um, I mentioned before, this is, the site that this is based on is 232 acres. We obviously don't have that, but I did use the 64 by 64 lot and I put it up against the water. In Brindleton Bay, so it's a nice view. Um, I know that for the outside, I'm gonna build you know a couple of little garden areas. Um, I'm gonna save the landscaping for last because I'm also not sure the final placement of the buildings. I think I might swap these two, but we'll play that by ear. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I know today I want to focus on the top level of our farmhouse. Um, which right now is just basically a blank slate. This morning we did work on the lower level, although there is one little thing I forgot to do. I went through and I changed, I switched out all of these little saucer lights. Um, I put them in the spot just because I wanted to make sure I could see what I was doing as I was working on it, but I tried to remove them, replace them with more, uh, I guess, more appropriate lighting for what the place is going to be. But I forgot the one in the little, um, in the little front area. So I'm going to sell that and I think I might just do another recreation of the ceiling lamp so this is you know fairly easy to fix and yeah so i think now at least for now um i'm sure i'll want to change it later i think we're good with the first floor um there's one other thing i wanted to check real quick yeah we got our art up we have our decorations we have our rugs we have all our lights switched out um we have our bathroom so there's one other thing i want to switch when we did the little barn venue yesterday i mentioned that i wish that there were some bench outdoor benches without backs and lo and behold i do actually have something in my inventory however it's actually i have a couple things in my inventory it turns out so but i'm not sure if they're if i'm gonna want to use them or not but i figure i take a look at them real quick surface comfort Outdoor furniture. Yeah, we have this stone thing, which see, I was more envisioning like wood. So I don't know if I'm, you know, technically that is very narrow criteria of what I was looking for. So, but I'm not sure if I want to use that. I also forgot. I keep forgetting to turn BB move objects on. So got that. But yeah, I yeah, there's there's actually a few other options here, but I don't know if I actually like any of these like I would rather have something that is wood and yeah so that was a wash I mean, we have this ottoman yeah yeah I'd rather kind of like if I could if they had something that was just the where's the Yeah, if there's a way to like separate the bench part of the picnic table from the actual picnic table, if they had that available, I would go ahead and do all that. Um, but for right now, you know, I've picked out these benches and I think they look fine. And I still, I'm still super happy with this place. I think it looks really cool at night with the lights. So, but yeah. Anyway, let's get back to it. Let me do this and let's go to our farmhouse. So again, we did the first floor, go up to the second floor. I'm going to remove all these walls. I'm trying to figure out like a clean slate, what I want to do. And I don't envision people actually still living in this house. Um, this is, you know, 
it's meant to be like a nature conservancy. So I would imagine this is kind of like a, you know, just a historic, you know, site that was preserved. So it would be decorated like a house that maybe in the late, late 1800s, early 1900s may have decorated it. But it's basically just kind of like a museum type piece now. But um, with that said, I still want to make it a as house-like as we can. So I think I'm going to start by putting, I may turn this into, make a bedroom here. Um, maybe that into the bathroom. I might change this, I don't know, but it's a little, some of it's a little awkward, but maybe create bedroom. Yeah, I, I don't know. Start over. Let me give this some more thought. All right, so. <laughs> okay, you know what? Okay, so here's what we'll do. Maybe we'll maybe we'll start with the hallway and figure out. Actually, you know what would be really cute? I don't know if this is like authentic to the time or not, but I do have the fireplace downstairs and I have the chimney continues up here. Maybe we can do like a little sitting area. That could be kind of cool. Um, it will make this into a bedroom. Maybe just recreate, yeah, kind of recreate what we have downstairs. Um, know what to do over here. I think I might you know, make like the bathroom. I'll make this like the bathroom area. And have our hallway. It's kind of narrow, but that's a stairwell, so I think that's fine. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll make this open and it's not perfect, but maybe this can be it, Yeah, I don't know. That's a little weird. Um. Maybe I'll make it like three bedrooms. Maybe I'll still, I think this can still be a bedroom. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know y'all. Maybe. this like a master bedroom so we have our hallway these really odd shaped bedrooms otherwise so maybe I'll make this like a closet as part of the master bedroom and yeah so that works out so we have a small closet over here and I don't necessarily actually what I could do um how do I do that? Uh, you know what? This bathroom is maybe this bath. This bathroom might be a little too long to be necessary. So maybe we'll yeah. So yeah, but then you'll have yeah. Maybe this could be the bathroom. This will be a closet for this room. This will be the master bedroom and a bigger closet, and then we have a bedroom and a closet. So there, these bedrooms, I know they definitely end up being a lot bigger than I would imagine like actual historic home would be. But putting in these temporary lights, I can see what I'm working with. Let's play around with it. We can always go back and change it, or you know, I do plan on uploading this to the gallery, so maybe. Yeah, I don't know if I want the, maybe I'll do this instead. I don't know if I want this, I want a little space between the door and the stairs, so maybe. Yeah, 
it will just make this like a little baby closet or something. So this is still the bathroom, have a little walkway. Yeah, I think that works. Um, again, the master bedroom is huge, but I don't know if they had the concept of master bedroom back back in this time period. I mean, really, you just went this went to your room to sleep, and that's kind of all you did. But um, we'll go ahead and take some liberties here. Our closet door in. We have our closet space there. It's a little weird that I don't know if I would necessarily put a a window in a closet like that, but you know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do this. Master bedroom gets to be considerably bigger, but they miss their lacking actual closet space. Maybe I'll make that little alcove for like a desk or something. Um. Yeah, okay, so I think we can work with this. Let me just do the bathroom first just to get that done. Um, let's see. Now I did this downstairs. I might just redo that same thing up here. Just because, you know, it's it's an older home. Um, like I said, probably it's not current. In my mind, it's not currently being lived in. However, someone may have lived, up, lived into it up till like, Maybe the early uh early nineteen hundreds. So let's see. We probably didn't have it will do a clawfoot tub. Yeah, I think a clawfoot tub would be expected item for an order house like that. But maybe I'll do hitting escape when I don't escape, but it, it's whatever. Okay, so maybe we'll put the tub right up this wall. Um, and I'll put the toilet. The toilet right there, and I'll put a pedestal sink. So I would like this to be, I, I mean, I do want this to be somewhat functional, so or make sure everything they think this is all still you figure we'll go ahead and put towel or something here be able to see white towel so yeah i don't think anyone they would have had if they're taking a bath they would have had a towel so we'll put toilet paper As you know, toilet paper. If you're gonna have a bathroom, um. So yeah, I think that works. I will put a light. Get rid of the the saucer lights and maybe put a a more traditional looking light of the sink. So it's a little dark, but I would envision order house like that to probably be darker anyway so but but yeah I think that works for now maybe I'll put another eh, I think I'll leave it as is for now I might come back to it later okay so we have our bathroom let's do this one let's do this first bedroom I might just ourselves and copy the same floor Or all the bedroom spaces. Um, two closets we really have. I'm not gonna build a whole separate floor just for. I want things. So. Okay. Um, let's do. Let's put a fireplace. So we want a fireplace. Of. That's kind of cute. Um. I'll make sure it's lined up with the. I think it's cute, except now I'm realizing that it'll be hard to actually squeeze a bed in here. So 
Yeah, that might not actually work out. Okay, so we'll play around with that later. But for now, let's go ahead and do wall stuff. I think I might just do like super conventional. Yeah, do they have a white wall with a white trim? I don't want to use. I don't want to use the same thing. You looking stuff. I also use the Wayne's coding or Wayne's cutting or clapboard downstairs. So maybe I will do the same thing here. Also used a lot of beigey colors. I'm in my head canon. It's because back in the olden days, ink was more expensive, so they didn't really do a lot of uh, super colorful stuff. So that's how I, that's my story anyway. I don't know if that's true or not. There might be some truth to it, but also not worried about it too too much. But maybe we'll do G plaster stuff for the for the hallway. Okay, let's put a bed in here. Door master bedroom first. We'll do the bed. That's kind of cute. I like that a lot, actually. So I think that's a good kind of master suite-ish type bed. Um, we'll put a closet. And that's I like that, but that's a little more opulent. Of course, maybe let's do like. And we'll have a desk. I do want to have a desk in here. And we did, I know we used this inspiration desk downstairs. Is there something else that we can use? Something kind of. I think this ornate one. Maybe we'll do that in here. I could see that working. Oops. I don't know if I put it halfway through the wall. I could see that kind of working pretty nicely. Chair. I think I just did the parties over chairs downstairs. So I think I'll just do that here. They make like a vanity or anything. So I was envisioning like a vanity like the lady of the house would sit at to like do her makeup or whatever. I don't know if that's a thing that exists in here or not. I'm wondering, it's probably be it should probably be a desk. I could just use that again. Put like a mirror. In it. They make like desk mirrors. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, surfaces. If I have something that doesn't have a back like that, then I can put a mirror like directly behind. But there isn't anything that looks like super old fashioned like that. So. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll just. Pretend there's a mirror here, but maybe I'll put some like clutter perfume. I know there's bottles in here. Yeah, some like ladies perfume polish. Yeah, I think that's I think that's kind of cute. We'll do another. There's another. Maybe we can do. Of a chair. Um, I could easily see a chair without a back. Kind of cute. I don't know if we have really good. Well, oh, this little ottoman thing could work. Maybe we'll make it like a red. Have it tucked in under. Pull it out a little bit. There we go. That was kind of cute, right? 
So, all right, we'll put a piece of art or something up there, but I will, I do want a mirror. And that could work. It's weird that it's late. Maybe I'll do it like this. That way she, you know, lady or gentleman of the house, you know, I don't want to be, they could sit here, they could, you know, get themselves ready, they could look in the mirror as they're working. Um, yeah, I think that could work out pretty well. And I'll put a piece of art or something up there. But you have our dresser, put uh, a chair. I did I had a version of this downstairs, which I kind of liked, and we'll do something similar. I have another one sitting up here. I think that I think this is actually turning out pretty nicely. I don't know. You're not putting a lot of effort into something that I don't envision. Like I said, people aren't people aren't living here anymore. I don't believe. Or at least and that's not how I'm playing it out in my head. Okay, scale this down. That's I don't, wanna, I don't know if I want to scale it down, but maybe we'll do really the wider ones. Those are big, but that looks like it's a little bit smaller. This one is good. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller, so that's not too bad. I'll take that out, tell that. Um, blah, 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 blah. See, for the most part, it's white, but she's got a few. They've got a few darker wood items, which I think would make sense. Um, all right, lights. Let's put some lamps in here. This is cute. I like this little Tiffany. Really like these little Tiffany style lamps. Right here. One right here. Maybe. Get rid of the nail polish. And make. Oh, that's not. There we go. That one does. We'll do like a little jellyfish. That's actually. I can see that fitting. Yeah, so maybe we'll do something like that. Maybe we'll put one over here as well. Um, I had a notebook downstairs as like a guest book. I could see someone keeping their little diary in here. This anymore. Let's see what kind of cluttery stuff we can get. Or sift through all this debug stuff thing for the sit on top of the dresser. Porcelain pig, that could be cute. He's a big boy though. But hey. No, that's weird. Okay. Um uh, definitely not a gargoyle. Know what to put in here that's decorative like that. No, that's fine. Okay, we'll stick. Look, we'll look at clutter stuff and see what we have. If we don't have anything, then we don't have anything. You know, it's not that big of a deal, but. I know we're gonna have. I know we'll have at least some stuff. We do a little bit of waste container. Maybe some books. Yeah, vintage books. There we go. Books and maybe a plant. We will put a plant in here. Some pretty flowers. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna do. Come back and do all the wall art separately. But I think this is a good. But I might do, I'll do the rug separately too. Let's do this actual, this smaller bedroom. 
comfort, we got a bed. Uh, maybe we'll give them a, well, maybe we'll do single beds in these two rooms. Do we'll pretend that was like a, I'd say a little girl's room, but you know, it's actually kind of cute shade of pink. So, you know, I see anyone liking something like that. Um, see accent tables this one work um do a dresser that's not a dresser that's a cabinet storage storage dresser body high back dresser unmentionables dresser Yeah, maybe we'll do that, but then maybe I'll, maybe I'll get away from like doing like a lot of like cream colors. Could be doing a bit more. Of it. So maybe we'll make the darker. I hate to lose pink, but that's doing a lot right there. Yeah, it will just make this. You know, a room is a room. Although this is like a old farmhouse they probably want to have a bed that fancy did i know i went kind of fancy for the for the big for the master bedroom but i figured you know maybe the parents would probably splurge a little bit more so maybe we'll do just the mission double bed or maybe just like a wire metal metal frame bed that might actually be too bad yeah because i know metal frame beds were you know fairly inexpensive Back then, so we were pretty calm. So we'll do that, and I'm completely blocking the air closet. So we'll and closet. I don't know what to put in here. I think I might just put like clothes rack or something. Um, I don't think they would have this. Like they we're looking like stuff so but fairly straightforward maybe put like a plant or something in the corner but like this is the one that's like clipping into the wall like crazy so we won't use that one maybe well they have a tall plant that doesn't stick out like that that's like i don't know you know what? i'll go put a mirror through right here instead because i figured they would all probably have a mirror maybe they'll just maybe they bought they bought multiples of this one so but Put a mirror in that corner and we'll put a lamp because we're going to get rid of these so put the lamp. and we will do our straightforward style lamps that one that's not too bad okay and you'll put a candle like a little candle set that's let's scale that down and we'll set over here. Uh, we're half hour into this. We're only two, well, we're three rooms in, so I won't call it a complete loss. But you know, it's interesting. I know, yeah, I know it's weird. I know no one's on, so I'm kind of talking to myself right now. But it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of helpful to kind of talk my way through these things because I end up making, I think, I end up making different decisions if than if I was just, you know. Sitting here trying to just do it in my head. I'm, not, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe what I'm trying to say. Um, do more. You're better here. Yeah, it makes kind of like uh, kind of lets me go on about going this little tangent on my train of thought, which I don't know if I would necessarily do if I was just you know keeping all this stuff in my head. So. Maybe if someone watches this after the fact, you know, if you have any thoughts or 
any ideas on what it could do differently, maybe change it up, because I'm sure this will, even once we're done, to this point it's probably going to take a while before we actually complete it, but um, I figure this will kind of be like a, we could always change this up as needed, so I'm actually kind of cool, kind of excited about the prospect of letting this grow and modify, so, but we'll see. All right, I do need a dresser. Storage. Uh, I think I did high back haughty the other two around. Maybe, maybe we'll do another Enigma dresser. I said yesterday that I don't I don't hate the idea of this table, but I don't know if I necessarily like the design in it, but we're gonna put a lamp. I do like the table legs, so lighting. Do another Tiffany lamp. Do a pink one along with the bed. Give them a mirror as well. We'll do switch it up a little bit. Maybe we'll give them a wall mirror instead. Or That's kind of, I mean, that's, that's not a wall mirror. I know I said I was going to get a wall mirror, but that's different, but it looks like it could be dish enough to work. Um, you do, I'm not super worried about keeping everything in a similar color, but I think where it makes sense, it makes sense, but close, 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 close. I figured do that. So we'll do. No one's actually like wearing these clothes, but um, I might know one lives here. But maybe they put some. Maybe the people who maintain the conservancy they put in some uh, era specific clothes. But maybe we'll put a couple the bottles on the table around a little bit. That is not how I want to. That's fine. Okay, so we have Okay, so we have for the most part we have our upstairs. Um still need to do some wall art and maybe some rugs. So do decorations. Let's do rugs first. Styles again. I didn't, do, I didn't put French country in there before, so when I, I did the style thing when I did break out last time, but we'll do mid-century, not mid-century, French country, farmhouse, Queen Anne. I like this rug. I think this rug could work for this space, and I'll put it under the... It actually kind of matches. Um, so I'll put that under the bed. So I think we're good there. I... Maybe do I put a rug in the hallway? I can see myself. I can see us putting a rug in here. Maybe we'll put like the same rug right here. Well, they have a bigger or to sill. That's not bad. Colors. Yeah, we'll kind of keep like the pink, pink motif going and have a pink rug, and then we do a blue ish motif. Um, yeah, maybe like right there. Okay, I think that works ish. So, bathroom. Is I think I need. Oh, I need to get rid of lights. So the rooms definitely upstairs. Definitely gonna be a little bit darker, which I'm okay with. I 
I think I might do for for this room. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why. Where is it? Right, maybe I'll put like a floor lamp. In this corner. That's like super dark. I don't know if. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay. Um. Yeah, all my doors are being funky. Okay. Um, maybe put a chandelier in the, in the hallway. That's doing a lot, though. You know what? Maybe do it just a regular old. It's ceiling like that could work, right? Make that smaller. Okay, so we have our rooms done, but wall art. So yeah, we're kind of sticking with like the historic looking motif. So maybe we'll antiquated history in the hallway. Not necessarily gonna put anything in the bedroom, but birds of a feather said. I always thought this was kind of cute, so I may put something like that in there. And maybe like a room, maybe put like one of the Roman architectural ones up here. I think that's cute. Okay, not every wall, but I think it's fine. Um, do we have any like specifically? And French country farmhouse. Tude and blue. That I don't want to do like these jazzy ones. Yeah, hate the jazzy. Eva La Landscape. That could be. I'll put that like right here. I might also do. I might also put. A floor. Well, so that way give them a little more light. Really in this corner. Okay, let's go back to decorations. Go back to. Lost all my things. All right, farmhouse. French country, Queen Anne. I'm going, I'm assuming Queen Anne is like, oh, there we go. That's gigantic. Fill that down a bit. Be a good picture for behind the bed. I still gotta put curtains down too. Um, we did, we did one of these paintings downstairs, but maybe, we, oh, art in the box, that could be, okay. We'll do art in the box. And yeah, because I would imagine like we want to have a whole whole lot of money for art. So they probably want it like go too crazy. Um and the conservancy let's pretend they're operating on a budget, so they're not they'll deck the house out, but they're not gonna go. Oh, you know what? I can't scale that down because I forgot that one has uh, that one has the actual flames on it, and the flame, when you scale it down, you do not scale down the flame, so it looks weird. So we'll put a little blue. A little standard candle set. Um, Alright, I think upstairs is good. Oh, I need to do... So I keep hitting escape, but I don't escape, but I need to get rid of these. Extra. So yeah, upstairs a little bit darker. I'm okay with that. I think there's a light in the closet. Is there a light in the closet? I need to get rid of. It's like super light in here, but I don't know why. So 
Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Um. Happens when I just. Once we don't all changes it. Nope, that didn't do anything. So that's fine. I'll leave it as is. Um. Yeah, I think we're done with the upstairs. So and that if that is the case, we are for the most part we are done with our little country farmhouse that sits on the property and you know what? I might just do that while I'm here is I know I said I wanted to change these switch them up I might go ahead and do that now you know every time I end up doing this I end up losing part of the Chances are, because I'm probably, because I'm doing move objects, I'm probably going to lose some stuff. Figure it out, but we'll have our farmhouse. Yeah, we'll put the farmhouse right there. We will turn, we'll flip this around. And put the barn over like nestled we'll put it like right there and then the conservancy itself you know what i'm just gonna move it back slightly not married to that but it's... so maybe we'll move back slightly maybe we'll put like maybe we'll create like another little outbuilding or something over here so all right let me do a twist quick inspection Make sure I didn't lose anything when I shifted everything around. Everything looks good here. All my lights are still there. Let's go check out the farmhouse, second floor. Everything looks good here. Actually, maybe I was making that up when I said I lost some stuff the other day. Because I know when I moved to Conservancy once, I ended up losing a couple doors. Maybe I just deleted them, I didn't realize it. But anyway, all right. The house and the farm, the barn are placed. I take that back. I might do this a little more nestled into the corner. So we were gonna have our garden. Actually, no, no, because I don't want it to be too big up with it. being really weird right now. So. Okay, so let's check it again. All right, we have our little barn chapel thing. We have our farmhouse. Again, I'm gonna do landscaping later. I might do a couple more outbuildings just to kind of fill this in so it's not all landscaping. Maybe like a little like tool shed. I'll stick like up in this corner or maybe like a little like I don't know, like maybe like a little observation platform over here. So that way you can kind of sit up, have like an elevated view of to look over the water. Um, and use, they could always walk down to the beach as well. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll play around with that a little bit. So, but I think those two buildings are good. So we can actually start on the, the conservancy space. So... Is first things first. Um, I need to fix this. So I, I don't know why it bugs me, but I want I want there to be space on this side of the door as well. I'm hoping I can do this without screwing up the stairs because I tend to lose stairs really easily here. So. Okay. So I think that's okay. Um, this was meant to be an office. This ends up being a lot smaller than I originally envisioned it, but... Um, so yeah, I think that's fine though. Okay. Again, I was, I never, was never super sure what I wanted to do. I know I wanted to do bathrooms, a couple like restrooms over here, um, but maybe I'll do like another little office or storage space on this side. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Because I do want I do want a bathroom. I don't necessarily want a big old window in the bathroom. And not necessary for it to be symmetrical like that. I think it looks better if it's symmetrical like that. So maybe we'll I don't know what Sure what to do. Sure what to do. Sure what to do. Sure what to do. Also not. Sure what to do. Oh. 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 Also not. All right, we got some weird stuff going on. Sorry. Hello? All right, it's not echoing. Okay, I think what happened was I was trying to open up the web browser and I had Twitch up, so it started playing my Twitch stream while I was recording. So, um, yeah, okay, so that, that happened, but it's done now. All right, let's at least, let's lay out where Bathrooms are going to go. Maybe we'll do... Maybe I'll just make like a little outcropping, like a little like information desk or something. I think that could kind of work. Yeah. Um, okay, bathrooms, 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 bathrooms. I want to do, I was going to do like, keep doing like these like single use bathrooms, but I wanted to actually like, have like a full on, like, oh, it would make more sense to have like a full on restroom in here. And that's hard to do because the toilet stalls, like, the toilet stalls make perfect sense to use, but they're also gigantic. So, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this and not putting a bathroom outside is probably helpful for that. So maybe, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just do a single stall. Okay, uh, single stall for each. Bathroom. Don't have like a sink. No, they don't have like a, they don't have like urinals. There is no urinal in here, right? Okay, so you know what? I don't know. I think I might have to close this in a bit more for this to work. quite what I wanted to do because it doesn't it seems weird to have a big old window in a bathroom area like that and it's super squeaking my chair is super squeaky um so that's a lot of space to devote to you know what no because I I was okay so I originally I was just thinking just now I would do a you know maybe I'll just do separate yeah I think I'm gonna do that So we can do Okay, so this can be a ladies room. Give them a couple more stalls. This will be the men's room. I still think that giant window in there is weird. Don't Cause I don't have any other windows on this side. Um, just hypothetically. 
Say a hermit. What does that do? No, can I? That weird. I think it's a little weird, right? But yeah, you would have you can walk in here, you'd have the vanities the sinks here. Oh that's a little awkward, but if I do a diagonal instead, maybe too bad. Kind of works except i don't have like hardly any room at all for the actual vanity for the restroom so that's a interesting thing so what i might actually do is do it this way yep so the door will be right here no that's weird too that's not gonna work either well, there's a lot of energy to be devoting to a restroom. Can I just say that? But maybe... You know what? We'll do it this way instead. So this will still be the layout of the woman's room. But we'll... Yeah, we'll do the stalls on this side. No. I have no idea. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go... The upstairs. So I, I kind of wanted it to match up with the upstairs. Um, so I do want... I do want this area to be closed off. Um, I just don't know how to go about it. But maybe we'll just go back to... Maybe we'll... Go back to like single use restrooms instead. Um, yeah, if I do that, this can be a restroom, this can be a restroom, this can be a restroom, and this can be a restroom. But you actually still get more, pretty much more space overall. So, yeah, okay. We'll figure this out. Yeah, so we still end up with like five individual restrooms. Which you no, know, it's weird, but it works. Alright, go to the doorway. Put the doorway right here, put a little desk right there, then we'll have the actual doors. So I'm probably gonna go back and change this. This is I don't know, this isn't what I envisioned. Because the actual the actual place, like it has like the bathrooms right there and um the, the actual conserv conservancy in Howard County has bathrooms right here, has like each bathroom from what I remember the last one time I was there had like two stalls. Um just can't make it work here for what I wanna do and I don't wanna make the Make the toilet area, make the bathroom like insanely big. I also want to devote. I don't know if I want to devote this much gray matter to a actual like bathroom as well. That seems a little ridiculous, but so we'll do. We'll do a bunch of individual stalls and just call it a day. Let me do basic old. Just do basic old pedestal sinks. This isn't what I had in mind for this, but it's it's fine. 
because um, yeah, I was gonna do bathrooms and maybe have like a small office back here, but this it just ends up being like super awkward. So, oh, classic growly scented mirror. It seems like a pretty straightforward mirror to me, but anyway, we'll put mirrors for the toilets. You know what, maybe we'll, I did want some storage area, maybe we'll just make this, this backspace, like, a utility closet. So. So yeah, we'll put a little utility closet back here. First, more centered. Oh, I did just block off that one. Okay, so never mind. We'll. We'll still have our utility closet. We'll just get rid of this wall. And we will do. I want like this door, but like without the. Probably plain wooden. It's probably my closest bet. Darker door with the white trim. Oh, we'll make it. All right, that's fine. Okay, so we'll do. Yeah, that's not so bad. Um, we'll put some lights in here. Since this is a newer building, I'm cooler with the saucer lights because I would. I mean, they kind of vision what I would think like a modern LED light would be like. So, put one right there. And we'll put one right here. Um. On toilet paper. I'm spending way too much time on these freaking bathrooms, and that is. I wanted to do so much more than a freaking bathroom right now. But hey, we did the upstairs of the. We did the upstairs of the space as well. So, not a total wash. But dispenser, not paper towel. Dispenser. Yeah. These are, you know, modern-ish public bathrooms. We have our hotel dispenser next to the sink. Oh, maybe we'll put some hand sanitizer. We are in the times of COVID. We'll put some sanitizer in the hallway outside of the bathroom sticks out quite a bit. Uh, maybe we'll put a hand sanitizer. Each of the bathroom will get their own thing. Hand sanitizer. You should make sure your hands are washed, but then you should also make sure they're properly sanitized because why not? Okay. Our bathrooms are done. Uh, utility closet. I think there's a broom. Part of we'll put some this is, I thought there was a broom or something. Uh, thought laundry. I just I just passed it. Of course, laundry. The game pack. Laundry day. Right in front of my face. Okay. Show all. I don't know why that never works. Decorations. Well, there we go. So yeah, we'll do a broom and dustpan. This corner. Um, do a larger. Maybe they store like the larger trash cans in here as well. So put a on these big boys. And then, else like storagey like cleaning? Oh, like a utility. I can put a utility sink in here. That makes sense. Um, the sink. Yeah, I will put the. Yeah, I will put the utility sink over in that corner. So yeah, here's our little storage, little. 
I guess, maintenance area, janitor's closet, um, as it were. So, cool. All right, so we didn't get nearly as far as I wanted to with this stream, but hey, we got our bathrooms. We started work on the conservancy. We finished the outbuilding, so it's a, not a total wash. Um, could try to get on this evening, but if not, I'll be on sometime tomorrow, and we'll hopefully finish up at least this floor of the of the actual conservancy building. Um, there's some stuff with the beams I want to try to experiment with for the up in this level, and then we have to work out still design like the little office area down here and the office and the little education the little, little ah, I can't talk the little classrooms so. Cool. I think not a total wash. This building is very expensive at this point, $162,000, and we're not even anywhere near done. Um, we do meet the quality. We do meet the requirements for a toilet and a sink, though, for a park. So you know, yay for that, I suppose. Okay. Bye, all. Talk to you later.